up? YouTube, what's up, man? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 69. Now, I didn't plan this. I didn't plan in episode 69 being talking about Shakobi with the hoes. I didn't plan this. This is not how it planned. Just the Lord works in mysterious ways, chat. It just, I don't know how it happened. I don't know if it's a sign. I don't know what to think. I don't know. I don't know. But I said, if you're on YouTube, man, please hit that like button. Thank you for watching on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, want to catch these live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. You can be here in the studio audience live. And speaking of that, I got to make sure. My man K-Mac with the gift of subs early in the game. I appreciate it. K-Mac, K-Mac was kind of glitchy too. But we will get to all of this. We will get to all of this. I make sure my... My chat is on sub only for the chat. You know what I'm saying? This is your opportunity to be part to be part of the community, part of the podcast, but you got to be subbed up to talk in the chat. That's all your name will show right here. You know what I'm saying? On the YouTube, on everywhere, but the sub only chat, man. I appreciate the gift of subs. Listen, I'm telling you guys, Jay Bird with the gifts. I'm the, Jay Bird, bro, it was a lot of glitchy people. There was a lot of glitchy people in Anaheim. I will be honest. Everybody was pretty much a W. I mean, not everybody, but for the majority of people, there were a lot of W's to be given out for the weekend. I would be honest, a lot of W's. Oreo is not, bro, or, see, I didn't even think about Oreo, but we will get to this. I do want to talk about Madden. I don't want to just talk about us being assholes and you know, all that. I, you know what I'm saying, like... DreamHack was cool, man. I this was the first DreamHack I went to. So, and in in listen, I really forgot about Oreo. That's crazy. I did forget about Oreo, but we will talk about. It. But I will tell you guys, this is the first DreamHack I went to, and being at this DreamHack made me a little like disappointed that I wasn't at all the other ones. I'll focus my camera a little better. We go, we go, we go. There was one in Atlanta I didn't go to, and the one before that was what the one Clef one. Where was the one Clef one at? Was it in Dallas? Was it in Texas? I forget. But this was the first one I went to. And the thing about DreamHack, I'm oh a man elite with the with the gifts or with the host. I appreciate you, man. No, no. Uh Journey One in Atlanta. I forget I, I wanna say I wanna say Clef was in in Texas as well. But anyway. This event one is in a convention center. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you guys have all been to a convention center. Just a huge ass building. That's all that throws types of things and all that. And uh, for me, as you guys know, like I watch, I watch a lot of, or I travel with my girl across the Midwest to watch volleyball, and they're always at convention centers. So I've been to a lot of goddamn convention centers. Anaheim's was fly. Shout out to Cuddy in the chat. Cuddy, I believe, made the final four with the sub. I appreciate it. I believe he made the final four. Played really good. Um, wound up losing to a prodigy, I believe. But that was a good run by Cuddy, man. He really popped up. And uh, shout out to this. I appreciate the sub. But what I was going to say. Um, so, yes, yeah, so it was the Anaheim Convention Center right by Disneyland. So, it was a great venue. It was awesome. And um, it's a gamer. It's like a gamer thing. A gamer thing. And uh, one thing I always realize when I go to these different gamer things. Now, I will tell you, I have never been to really gamer conventions until I really started streaming and becoming bigger into gaming. Gaming, like, gaming is, like, so much bigger than Madden. Madden it's not even funny. Like, gaming is a huge world. Like, it's, like, a huge, huge world. Uh, and something that I really was never a part of until the last couple of years, being a streamer and being involved with Twitch and YouTube and this, that, and the third. Like, I really had no idea how big like the gaming industry really was um until you go to some of these venues um so you go into this venue and obviously there's a bunch of different little like parts that you could do you know you could play this game you could play that game you can watch people play this game i believe every little gaming thing that was going on at the event um it was csgo which is counter-strike which is Counter-Strike is probably the biggest shooting game ever, honestly, that we don't know because it's never been on the consoles. And at the end of the day, if we're man players, we're console players, so we don't know shit about what's going on on the computer. I will tell you, I'll be the first one to tell you that. I don't know what's going on on the computer. Then they had Halo, which, is, you know, obviously is a console game. 
And then uh, Fortnite was popping. It was a bunch of different things, a bunch of different things you could buy. Food you could buy. They had a bar. They had little bars, which was made it even better. It was popping the whole time for me. It was great. Um, because I was in Apex Rivals, I did not go till Saturday. If you guys watch Apex Rivals on Friday, I came in seventh place out of twenty, which is pretty insane for me to be in like against all them pros and be seventh out of twenty. Now I didn't do much. My teammates did pretty much everything, but it was fun. And for that reason, I showed up on Saturday, which means I couldn't play because everything started, I believe, started, started Friday. So I got there uh, Saturday afternoon, went right to the event. Um, watched a couple games, but at the end of the day, what I take from DreamHack, man, is that, shoot, I tight wins again. And we are we are 19% away from the level three hype train. That's that's pretty nice. So shout out my man Lou, 11 months subbed up, man. There it goes. Um... <laughs> I was setting up those fences on Apex, bro. I really was. I was about. They was quick. They was the, the fences were quick. They were quick. There, my man M dot in the seventeen months, man, three percent away from the level three hype train. We got that means we. I don't know what hype train we had, but we just passed some mark. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we completed level two. Now we on level three. There we go. Hey, appreciate y'all for real. But, um, so when I learned, let's talk about Madden. Did any of you guys watch the Madden events? Did any of you guys watch the, uh, the games and which games stood out? I wish I could tell you there was a game that stood out as a, as a, um, as a Clef supporter, I'll tell you, it was boring watching him play uh, people I couldn't cap at, bro. Like, when King was up there, and, and when he played King, and now King sucks. But when he played King, shot Bobby with the gifts. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, Pavin and Jazz probably was the best game. Um, neither of them could play any defense. But, uh, yeah, I... I when he played, when Clef played King, it was fun because it was someone to cap at in the crowd. Like King, uh, Freak, his brother was there. Trey Kings was there. They was all, uh, what you gonna call it? They was all cheering for King. So it's good to have somebody cap back out. When you know what I'm saying when JS was up there, like you don't want to cap it, JS. Like he just like, it, you know what I'm saying, yeah. King King laid down. King brought a Lamar Jackson jersey, and didn't even use Lamar Jackson. Big Larry, big L for him, honestly. Shout my man Fo with the sub, with the gift of sub. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, so uh, it what the quiet people kind of popped, man, bro. The, the quiet people kind of popped. Like it was no one for me to really cap at, bro. Like couldn't cap at JS really. Plus, Clef and Jazz game wasn't fun, and then really Clef and Prize game. As I, as a man player, bro. I've been fighting, chat. I've been fighting this, like, running game shit all year. Like, bro. Like, I, I don't want to do it. And not that I don't want to. It's not like I don't want to do it. But I'm, like, I. I'm watching Prodigy play Clef. This was the final game. And I'm sitting here watching him. I'm like, damn, this shit hard as f ill. Like. What Clef has to do to move the ball and what Prodigy has to do to move the ball is like, bro. And it, it kind of, what it reminded me of, it reminded me of salary cap. Here go Prodigy. Got these two goons in the middle. <laughs> Put two contains that he can't really cut. or <laughs> And you got to sit in the pocket and just eat it. And to me, I'm like, like, so I'm sitting there watching like, bro, like, Clef's job is so much harder than Prodigy's job. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you feel as a pastor, man. Like, it's like, is this really, the, like, it's, it's at this point of man, it's stupid, to be honest. It really is. It's, it's stupid. You know, you are, like, one, we all know how man works, man. When you get, uh, what I was going to have, um, when you get to, like, the top 50 people in Madden, not the top 30 people, like, everybody's pretty close, bro. But when somebody like Clef, who was really good, somebody like Prodigy was really good, when one person has to do work that much harder than the other person, it's going to make it, like, 
it works. You can do it against lesser people for sure. But when you get around like two people that are really good and one of them's working hard as shit and the other one's <laughs> the other one don't gotta work that hard or risk any turnovers or risk losing field position or anything like that, it's like, God, this is a stupid ass way to play the game, man. It's like it's rough, man. It's like, am I really going to run eye tight? Am I really going to try it? I just don't really know how to do it. I wish, I'm, I'm, I, it's not rocket science, but it, I, I have, I have learned this year to like gain a little bit. I don't want to say the word is respect, but like understand that these guys like know a little, know more about the running game than I do, and like are way more skilled at knowing all that stuff and the knowledge of what run the one run. When to snap it, when to flip it, when to be a virgin and, you know, motion this guy, motion that guy. You know, you got to just give them some respect and be like, yo, they're pretty locked in on the running game. But it was rough seeing a runner, not not a runner win, but just like, just watching that game was like, bro, like, this is so, it's, I can, I think it's pretty hard to pass the ball in Madden 20. I, I really do. I think it is. I, I really honestly think it's pretty tough. Um, And... That, that's what makes for people. No, I don't think the game. I, I don't think extending the game would change the game. I think make it, it would make it easier for runners to be able, or passers to be able to fight. But at the end of the day, when you talk about one or two minutes, you're talking about a couple plays, really. I thought about uh, rather than extending the game, I think the play clock. And I, I feel like I said that every week when we talk about man. I said that every week that the play clock is a bigger deal, honestly, than. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I kind of, after watching that game, Clef Project, I was like, yo, I got to try it tight, bro. I got to try it. Like, it's no way, like, I might I might give it a try. We're going to keep rocking and see how we do. But if if I'm still, I will see how this next couple of weeks go, honestly. Yeah, for sure. For sure, wow. It's definitely harder to pass than run, without a doubt. And they think I'm crazy when I say that. Like, I'm making it up. Throw them in. But anyway, so as we sit there, but it, honestly, it was, it was a good tournament. Um, And this is my question to uh, you guys. is like, what would make you guys want to come out to one of these tournaments? You know, like, what's... Why weren't all you guys here? Like, like what is it? Like, it's not really even about the tournament. It's really, like, fun. Like, I don't know. It's just a good experience. And really. like, what stops you guys from coming to these events and what would make you more, you know, willing to go to the next one, honestly. That's why I asked you guys, because, and you to buy us that, like, the distance. I mean, I understand. If I, like I said, when I was, when I was 19 or whatever, when I was in Madden, Madden 09, Madden 10, Madden, what, Madden was Madden 12. Like, I wasn't interested in traveling because I didn't want to spend that money. I really didn't have that money when I was, you know. Yeah, it's a vacation, honestly. that That's really what it is. Y'all have to see it as like a little vacation. It's a little getaway. It's not really. Yeah, you have to see it as this is a little vacation that I'm taking with my friends. Honestly, that's all. No, it was no MCS. They thought about doing something MCS wise, which would probably make it obviously make it way more popping. But you know, yeah, you can't, and you know, you really, you can't look at the prize money and say I'm gonna win this. You can't count on that, man. You can't really count on having this than a third. The prize pool is twenty five thousand dollar prize pool. Like what the fuck? Y'all want more money for a random Braggs tournament? I mean, groups groups should definitely be done by somebody that knows knows what their name is, you know? Somebody that knows the game. I remember when, Nur- I honestly, when Nerd Street had tournaments, they asked me, like, who should be in a group and who shouldn't, really. Just so we didn't have four good people in one group and four shitters in another group, honestly. Witness, what's up, buddy? 
Yeah, but it's not about it being worth. Like, yeah, like, like, yo, the prize pool part means nothing, bro. Honestly. Yeah, like that. That is that where we're getting to? Give away a hundred thousand. Don't go twenty five thousand dollars. I feel it's great. I feel like it's great. You know, groups can't be random, and some people. Yeah, it's not a bro. It's not. It's not a financial investment, bro. Even if you're the best player in the world, it's not financial investment. It's an entire event. It wasn't necessary. It wasn't really just a tournament. Like you got access to the entire gaming event. Now that's what I talk about as far as like growing man. Because I'm, because as you sit there watching the Madden, the Madden tournament, right? You look at all the other tournaments, and, and the other tournaments are kind of popping. I'm gonna be honest. Like the CS:GO shit was lit. Like CS:GO, the Counter Strike was popping. Halo was popping. Now, now this is where. There was one in Atlanta. Bro, we did not get a crowd, but we had energy, bro. We had a lot of energy. The thing is, this is the thing about Madden, right? Gaming-wise, here we go, right? If you like CSGO, right? You kind of have played Fortnite, so you might like that. If you like CSGO, of course you like Halo. If you like a shooter, you like a shooter, you like a shooter, you like a shooter. You know what I'm saying? So this... Johnny Johnny Raincoat that came to watch CSGO, shit, he might walk over and watch the Halo. He might walk over and watch the Fortnite. He might try to play Fortnite. He might try to compete in a little Halo game because he's Johnny Raincoat and he played it all, you know? But those same guys that played all them shooting games, they don't know what the hell is going on with Madden. They don't know what's going on with Madden. Shooters relate to shooters. And, that, like, that video game-wise, that's all like I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? No. There's no one Madden player that's going to make more people watch Madden. Yeah, it might be a couple hundred here and there, but it's not that big a deal, you know? But it, And it's just tough because I, I think uh, being at these gaming venues is awesome, you know, because like, like I said a couple minutes ago, my eyes, I didn't know how big gaming, like PC gaming and shooter gaming is how big this is. And to be in that same venue is pretty awesome. Yes, Wesley's right, man. If they had a 2K event and a Madden event, that would be pretty pop. That would be pretty cool, you know? You know, that would definitely be pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, it, it's it's a good thing being in these gaming events. But uh, the people that come to play Madden really don't give a shit about the other games and vice versa. So that's why the crowd was pretty much just, just us. And that's the one thing, man. That's like... For me, I, I, I love Madden. Or whether I'm in a tournament, I'm in a night, or my boy's lost, or the next guy, I'm going to be in the crowd watching the games. You know, that's one thing I didn't really get the vibe. Because I don't know how many people signed up because I wasn't there for groups. But I felt like it was only like 10, 15 of us that stayed and watched the games. Like, it might have been 50. Like, where did everybody go? You know? And I guess that some people, if they lose, they don't really want to go. They don't really want to go back and watch. Some people have that type of vibe, but for me, I just like supporting and watching. So for me, so for me, if we're there and you get popped, man, the best thing you can do for man is chill in the crowd. That's what was the saltiest shit was that I'm looking at the crowd. We got, you know, 60 seats and 10 of them are full. You know, like what? We could fill these seats up. No, but bro, the prize pool is not low, dude. Like what the, the prize pool don't make or break nothing. Like what the hell? That doesn't make people want to watch more. Like, what the fuck? Like, you could always say that. Dude, oh, the prize. They won't watch because the prize pool. So if it, so if that twenty five thousand dollar tournament was fifty thousand, would the seats be full? Would there be two? Would it make it that? Would y'all say, oh shit, he's playing for ten grand instead of five grand? I want to watch that. I don't understand like that. Like what? I don't think that matters at all, bro. Now, obviously, if it's a a, a four hundred dollar tournament and and you know forty thousand dollar tournament is a big deal, but that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I don't know. I thought Anaheim was awesome. I guess the West Coast didn't come out. I don't know. I guess the West Coast done. Yeah, my voice was going that because I was booing. I would just boo everybody. I don't know if y'all heard, but I was just booing the shit out of people. Like, 
King, every time King ran Wildcat for one yard, I just booed. And I told everybody to punt the ball. I booed JS until he was down by 30. I booed Prodigy when he ran every play. I was just booing, bro. That's all I was doing. I was yelling, I'm be honest. I was yelling. But like I said, it was boring when it was it was Prodigy. Prodigy don't cap. And then Drenny was like, Drenny was like, yo. Drenny was like, I'll cap at you. You can't even cap at Drenny. Drenny's really like, bro. I was boom, yo, every time, because it was fun when King was there, because his brother and, and Trey Kings and shit was capping at me, bro. I was definitely boo, boo. Yeah, so it was fun. It was definitely fun. Uh, I, like I said, all you guys should try to make it out. Uh, I, I, I understand that's far away, but the West Coast definitely, I, I don't know who was from the West Coast that was in there, honestly. You know? Yeah, the ads was there. I, I, like I said, I really don't. I know this. If if this shit was in Philly or New York or D.C., it would be popping. Bro, Fort, y'all, y'all are fucking idiots, bro. Just don't. Yeah, the East Coast would be popping. Yeah. So you don't even cap good. Trini like, like, <laughs> Trini don't cap good, bro. Yeah, Dallas is gonna be fun. Make, make sure y'all get there. Like for real, it's definitely popping. Um. Yeah, let, let's say, let's say, if, if Madden doesn't give away a hundred million dollars, there's no way this shit could pop. No, you're right. There's no way this shit could pop. Bro, no, no, it won't pop. No, honestly, the podcast won't be back until they give away a hundred million dollars. I just won't do a podcast, bro. Just, just is it, Trey Ball? What's up, buddy? I appreciate you. You know, a hundred million, a hundred million or shit won't go. Ross with the sub, thank you, man. I preach five months. Y'all not coming, bro? Dreamhack Narcos, bro. People, it was fun, man. Dallas will definitely be. I can't wait. Honestly, can't wait. Um, Madden is popping. I mean, I like it, dude. It's February. It's pretty much March. Madden's popping. Let's just let's just take a look at where from Madden sixteen to now. Madden's popping. Yeah, it's not. Y- y'all keep saying Fortnite. Like, bro, what the fuck? Like, bro, Fortnite has kids that are six years old to dudes that are sixty. Their demographic is fucking enormous. It's enormous. You can never compete with that shit. Like, seriously. Like, it's it's never going to be comparable. Never. Yeah, like, man, it's lightweight popping. Can we just agree with all the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, it should be free at this point, though. <clears throat> Man's popping. That's all I'm saying. But anyway. Well, you don't want to watch a Kobe? I don't know, bro. I, I think, I don't know, man. I, I want to talk. I, I want to, uh. I want to talk more about how we can grow Madden. No, but Shakobi chat. First of all, first of all, I gotta find. I definitely gotta find. The, I see this is my fault because I don't be knowing. I didn't know where all like the Shakobi pictures were and everything. I gotta go find all them shits. Cause I'm be honest, like it. This was pretty legendary, to be honest with you guys. I, I was surprised. You know, I I was surprised at the uh, the overall. Where well, I'm, I'm looking. Trust me, I'm looking. I was surprised at the Jacoby news, cause I got there. I get I got there. What did I get there? I got there Saturday. I was like, "What's up, man? Uh, is everybody going out?" And they said, "Should Kobe gone?" And they said, "Should Kobe is gone?" And <clears throat> to me, I was surprised. 
honestly, that he wasn't with us. You know, I, I, and they said he went out dancing. Now, to me, that's, that's, that's fucking sick. Like, I want to know, I got a lot of questions. I got a lot of questions and, and Shakobi's in here. So I really want to, Niner, Niner, you done for the day, bro. You done. Take 10 cents. I don't want to talk about, you done. He done. I don't want to talk about no. I if another one of you fuckers brings up Fortnite and any million dollar prize pool, literally you will not talk for the rest of the night. Literally, Jesse, Jesse, you are in charge. If I hear Fortnite or prize pool in this chat again, they're done. The mods, all you got ponies in here. Who else? X Factor, bro. Be I swear to God, Niner is not allowed to talk the rest of the night until the podcast is over and I'm playing Madden or chilling. He's not allowed to talk. I'm, I don't give a shit. Madden will never be Fortnite. If you wanted to be Fortnite, this is what you do. You pick up your fucking controller. You hit hold the middle button. You go scroll and you press A on Fortnite. And you play fucking Fortnite. But this is Madden. This is why we're here. And it's never going to be a $100 million prize pool. All right? So take that dream, ball it up, and throw it out the window. Jesus Christ, man. Literally, bro. I don't want to hear no more, no more prize pool, no more nothing. Shout out my man George with the sub, twelve months, man. I appreciate it. for real, bro. That shit, I, I that is crazy. It's just crazy. Like let's let's appreciate what the hell we got a little bit. It's always it's always got it always gotta get better. We always here to make it better, but we can't be Fortnite. It can't be like that's it, bro. Like it's just crazy, man. He would, that, no, because he's like, oh, well, what's that guy's name? Booga, 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 Booga. Oh, he was an overnight millionaire. Well, good for fucking him. You know how much of his millions I got? Listen, does anybody in this chat have any of his millions? Does anybody? Then I don't give a shit. And honestly, for how big Fortnite is, damn, they could have given away 10 million. Because at the end of the day, let's be honest, that kid Booga, Booga, right? He's probably sick that he didn't win 10 million, right? Shit. Am I right? He's probably like, damn, I wish Epic had a bigger prize pool. Probably, that's probably what Ninja's saying. Ninja probably got a podcast right now. Wow, if, if Epic if Epic grows the prize pool, I would compete. You know, the prize pool's not low enough. Fucking crazy, man. Booga booga. And y'all bringing that shit up. In a Madden, on a Madden tournament. A random ass Rags Madden tournament in the middle of February. They said needs to be $100,000. Fucking joke, bro. As high as possible, y'all. As high as possible. As high as possible. The fuck, like. We've been talking about prize pool for how long? How long have we been talking about this shit? How long? What the fuck do you want me to tell you? I'm not playing. I'm not. Oh, yo, I'm not trying. We shouldn't try. It's not high enough. Boy, got it. <laughs> fuck, like, y'all are fucking nuts, bro. Man, what's up, man? Nah, because that shit pissed me off, bro. Y'all really bringing up booga, booga, booga. Like, I, I don't know what. I don't know what. It's just such a dumb... Anyway, back to Shakobi, bro. Y'all worried about podcast. I don't want to come to the tournament because the podcast is... Or, or, or the prize pool isn't high enough. Bruh. Bro, oh, all we got to do is our part, baby. You feel me? That's all. That's all we got to do. I feel like I'm doing my part. Now, look yourself in the mirror. Are you doing your part? That's what I ask you. That's what I'll ask. All you can do is ask yourself. Because this is what I tell you. If you rely on another man to pay you, and when I say the other, if you rely on EA to pay you, where the hell are you going to be? That's my question. If you rely on EA to pay you, where are you going to be? Imagine asking for another person to pay you more money. Imagine, like, imagine relying on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's this? What I'm saying, everybody, bro. Bet y'all fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all rely on EA. 
I'm not relying on them. Y'all can rely on them all. Y'all can rely on them all y'all want. I'm not relying on them. After the first year, I said, more money ain't no more money. I'm good. That's why I'm here. Please pay us more money. Please, please, please. When we have no fucking leverage. Anyway, I'm done. I'm talking about where, where the fuck is Jacoby's pictures at, bro? I'm done with you fucking idiots. Main people that be talking about prize pool are the ones that don't even win no fucking money anyway. Speaking of prize pool, bro, look at this fucking prize. Be the main motherfuckers, bro. Now I'll tell you, Shakobi got more drip than everybody out here, honestly. Shakobi has more drip than all y'all. Now I want to know how this went down. Because I, I need to know what the hell happened. How did you get to this point on a Madden trip? Like, how do you get to this point? Chat, how does this happen? No, it's not tough. He just, it, he got a little bad. See, see, when you got a little gut, you got to pull it. You got, you can't be that tight. You got to pull it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know what I'm saying? You got to. I don't got no stain. That's just lighting. That's not stain. Let's not, let's not start killing my man. That's a little shadow. That's not a stain. Oh, it might be water. I right, say no more. I just want to know how it got to this point. Like, so, Shakobi obviously is from, like, it lives in, like, lives in, like, Seattle, like, Washington, that other corner. Bro, but there's other shit. Bro, I hate you motherfuckers. You see all these other shadows on him? What about this? Is this a stain? There's a stain over here? What about this? What about I'm done. Your podcast's over. I'm done with y'all. Y'all tell me how to play Madden. Y'all tell me how to look at pictures. Why the fuck don't y'all got a show? That's what I'm telling y'all. Since y'all know fucking everything, you fucking bastards know everything. Y'all know how to pass. You know who's open. You know what to stain. You know how to move shit. You know how to do all this. Why don't y'all have a show? That's what I want to know. Why? Why the fuck are y'all watching me if y'all know how to do everything? God damn, man. God damn! We really arguing over stains? My man can't have a stain. He can't have a stain. Like, oh my god, bro. Reddit, cause y'all like us, I can't even tell a story. I can't do shit. To you assholes, bro. My man got a date. But I want to know, how does this date happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, so you, so obviously he gets to LA on Thursday, right? Now, I'll be real. Shakobi didn't bring this outfit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't bring, no, he ain't bring this outfit, bro. These are, fr yo, this is Marshall's special, bro. This is a $45 outfit total. And I respect it because I've been there before. You know what I'm saying? If you never had to run the marshals to get an outfit, then you really haven't lived life. You know what I'm saying? We not gonna cap. Marshals is a great time, but I've been there before. And chat, you guys can agree. You guys have been there before, right? You know what I'm saying? TJ Maxx, that's another good one step. You know what I'm saying? There's no way he brought, there's no way you bring this type of lay. There's no way. Oh, so Shakobi pays for, okay, so he, so he, he pays for Tinder Plus. Yeah, and, and, and then yo, this, this is called the military alignment. I don't know if you guys ever, because I was in Boy Scouts and shit, this was important. Military alignment, like your fly and like pause and the but. You're, yeah, this is called military alignment. Uh, your your buttons and your fly got to be on point. You know what I'm saying? The military alignment. Yeah, it, it's not, it might not be way off. It's just, like I said, when you got a little gut, you got to untuck. You got to keep the tuck a little baggy. The tuck can't be too tight when you got a little gut. You know what I'm saying? 
Y'all was in Boy Scouts is great, man. If y'all have sons or anything, put them in Boy Scouts, man. It's a good time you learn a lot, bro. Because, listen, I'll tell you fuckers, when the zombie apocalypse pops off and I know how to make fires and march in the woods and know where to get places without needing a fucking GPS, you guys are going to come looking for Boy Scouts. That's what you're going to come looking for, all right? All right? So best believe, if y'all need somebody that knows that been in Boy Scouts when that zombie apocalypse pops off, So anyway, so Shikobi had a dancing date. Now, chat, I will be honest. Up, oh, Niners back. Niners back. Chat, do your job or the podcast will not continue. Chat, do your job. There, there you go. Good job. 600 seconds. Good job. Anyway, back. Good job, X Factor. I see you. I see you, X Factor. Number one mod. Let's go. So this is what I want to know. Is how does one settle on as, as because I need I need you guys to see my face because like I'm like how does one settle on a dancing date like in 2020 what does that mean like I, for me I think I think like Greece like John Travolta like let's go dance like like where do you go I would have no fucking clue I would not what no like that's but like where would you go. I would say no so fast. Like, what? Yeah, I'd probably, the strip club is the best. Like, yeah, there's it's tons of dancing here at the strip club. But that's what I think about. I think about Greece. What, like, you guys tell me, like, what does, da- like, what does that mean to y'all? Like, like, a dancing date is nuts. And what type of dancing do you think? Because I think of dancing... I want some ass on the hips. You feel me? I want your ass on my crotch. That's the da- like. That's what type of dancing I want to do. So, and I will be honest. I have no fucking idea how to salsa dance. So for me, so Shakobi had Tinder. He he arranged this date. Now, what I picture now is Shakobi on YouTube. How do I salsa dance? And literally in the mirror doing this shit all week, getting ready for his dancing date. You know what I'm saying? He was getting ready. Am I lying? Because that's what I would do. Because I really have no fucking clue how to salsa dance. And if a chick asked me, I want to go on a dancing date, I would say, listen, people in hell want ice water. I'm not going on a dancing date. That's not happening. This bitch would be happy. Bro, it would have to be a bad bitch for me to say, okay, let's go on a dancing date. At the, we went to the Marriott, like the ballroom. Lord Jesus. He's a glitch. Salsa dance? Like, I mean, like, listen, I could probably figure it out. I could, like, listen, I could two step, so I can figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Chad, I'm, what I, I think is like, matter of fact, let me keep this over here. For me, it's like, what, like, Lord, you know, it's, listen, apparently it works, so, Shikobi found this chick, and his, so, since he, so he lined up this date, now me, me, myself, I'm not a date liner upper, no, I'm not that, because I need to keep my options open, chat, now, chat, do you understand, I need to keep my options open, you know, I can't, I can't commit to Becky when I don't know what the hell is going to happen. Yeah, I just two step, man. Y'all don't do much. I honestly, when I saw when I saw Shakobi dancing in the club, I was like, you know, he's like he does what I would do, but I'm just a little bit cooler than him. That's all. But he gets away with it. Like he, like I, I you don't got to do much. I'm be honest, you really don't have to do much to dance. Honestly, now now salsa and all that ballroom dancing shit that he was doing, I, I that's another level. But in the club, you really don't got to do nothing. Shakobi like literally so Shakobi dances often. So this isn't a one time thing. He's got dancing experience. Shakobi might really be glitchy. He has dancing dancing, you know, experience. Uh, that, that, that's nah man, like that, that like Shakobi's really a glitch. Now the outfit, he was clean. You know what I'm saying? And you know when I knew it was, I, when I knew 
when I knew Shakobi was up to trouble, when I knew he was up to trouble, is pretty much, honestly, when I I don't know if you guys saw the video of him dancing in the club. That's when I knew he was. That's why I knew he was plotting a lot of shit this weekend. He was plotting a lot of shit. You know, and and and. So, <laughs> I'm looking at all these threads. So he was plotting, right? When I saw him with another lay in the club, right? That's when I realized he was here. He was here for one reason. He wasn't here for Madden. He was here for one reason, chat. And what y'all got to realize, he ain't care about Madden. He had double lays. He had a polo lay with the slacks, and he had the whole button-up lay. Like, so for me, when a man comes with two outfits, he's really ready to party. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had a great time, bro. That's what y'all got to realize. He's bopping. Because at the end of the day, y'all have to realize this about this. Because this is at the gaming party, right? And y'all have to realize this, bro. The other people in the gaming part, like the other gaming communities, like the other gamer dudes, Shakobi is the Fonz, bro. They make Shakobi look like fucking the man. Seriously. Like, Shakobi went million percent top 10 coolest fucking dudes in that party. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah. So the other, yeah, the other gaming communities are like, they're walking L's, bro. Seriously. <laughs> For real. Like the Halo people, bro, they not in the clubs. They not two-stepping. That's yeah, Kobe top five dancer in the community. But the first night, oh man, the first night got a lot of stories though. Ask yo, Jay Bird came with dates on on deck. Jay Bird came to the to the to LA with dates on deck ready. But Jay Bird ain't bring no dates on deck. He was hunting for the dates. And like, listen, man, community, we we like hunters. We like hunters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 10 for 10. Per, yo, Jay Bird was ready. Bro. I mean, uh, I don't know what the chick looked like. We don't know what the chick looked like. And honestly, shout out my man Shaq Daddy with the sub. Now, honestly, I don't think it could possibly be an L. That's what I'm thinking. I I don't think Shakobi's date and weekend could possibly be an L. Like, what would the chick have to look like for it to be an L? Seriously. For him to get dressed up like that, go on a dancing date, and be that happy? Bro, it's no way it could be an L. She would have to be a zero. No, she would have to be a zero for it to be an L. If she was, if she, if her eyes were straight and she didn't stink, I, I, it was a W. That's how I feel. Yeah, it was, she would have to be super brutal. So that's how I feel, man. Yeah, she can't be that fat. If she was dancing. Because, you know, dance, fat chicks can dance, but they start sweating. They start stinking a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so if you got, at the end of the day, if she was dancing, two-stepping, you know, it's no way that she could be, you know what I'm saying? She could be too big. But like I said, it's a W pretty much regardless. That's why I really don't care. That's why I really don't. That's why I really don't. I really don't care. Nah, it's not a. It's not a L. It's not a. It's never a L. It's never a L. It's never a L, bro. It's not a L. You can't give. You can't give a man. You yo. You can't give a man that went on a dancing date a L. You just can't. That's just too swaggy. It's too swaggy. Yeah, big girls ain't dancing, dancing. Kobe not nah, Kobe not that crazy. I I feel like he not that crazy big, really. He like he fat, but he not like super sloppy. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, it's some people that's fat and it's just they they automatically stink. Like they take a shower and ten minutes later they stink again, bro. You feel what I'm saying? 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like the, the yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so the first night, this is Saturday. Um, What happened first was, let me tell you this about, so first of all, we're at the venue. Clef wins this game. He won't play till tomorrow. Jay Bird already got popped. Jay Bird, I don't remember last time Jay Bird played a relevant game in a Madden tournament. I, I really don't remember. I don't remember. You got, I don't remember the last time he played a relevant game. I, any man on me. But anyway, so Jay Bird got popped. So, no, I want, no, only subs can talk in the chat, bro. That's the, listen, bro. I'm saying, so at the end of the day, my statistician Jay Bird. So we're sitting at watching the games. We're sitting watching the games, right? And, um, what's that? So Jay Bird, me and Clef, and then all of a sudden, they want to drink. They want to go to the bar and take shots. It is 3 p.m. You know me. I'm cool. I'm with the shits. So if it's 3 p.m., that means we got about 12 hours of life left. We need 12 more hours of, of, of day. We got to be awake for 12 hours. Because 3 to 3 p.m., okay, let's go. So we start. I get the first round because that's me. Like, I'm not going to let nobody else buy me a drink right away. That's that, That's just who I am. I talked to Clef about it. And I'm like, listen, man. I feel blessed to be able to be in that position. And and you guys will realize this when you get to a point in your life. Like, when you stop becoming the one that doesn't want to pay for shit and becoming the person that always wants to pay for shit, that's like, I feel like that's like a natural. Because I feel like men naturally are like providers for everybody, like whether it's their family, their friends, anybody. When you get to the point where like you want to be that person that pay for shit, like I feel like that's like the evolution of a man. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile... Fucking Clef and Jay Bird doing one rock, paper, scissors to see who got to pay for drinks like fucking children. But, you know, I'm just saying. Anyway, so I buy the first round. We get Jameson shots. Now, Jay Bird and Clef don't know what the hell Jameson is, but I'll say I want the Jameson. You know what I'm saying? So we they take the Jameson, and I'm, I'm telling them, listen, are y'all, are y'all cool with the Jameson? You know what I'm saying? And they take the Jameson. You know, I got to have a beer. I can't just have a shot. I got to have a shot and a beer. So grab that, boom. Then we wait like an hour, watch a couple, watch some more games. Because it's like four more games to watch. And I'm going to watch the games. So then that's when we go back to the bar. And you know what's on Jay Bird or Clef? They do their one, two, three shoot. Right? So Jay Bird loses. He buys the next round. Right? So this what this sneaky bastard Clef do, bro. Now, I hope Clef shows up in this. This is what he do. Instead of buying the $50, $50 round of, uh, of drinks... He said, yo, y'all want some pizza? And he tried to pass his round off on buying pizza. You know what I'm saying? So he went to the, he got his pieces of pizza. So his bill was like 18 bucks. He not low. And I told him that. I say, Jay Bird, you can't trust this guy. He's not low, bro. Do you not low doing that shit? So he buys his pizza. Just, it's just insane. And I told him, bro. And, and what's crazy is I say, bro, this don't count as your round. Now, the problem was the next day he was in the tournament the whole time. So he never had to buy a round. So he really finessed us a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to say that's a race issue. I'm not going to say that. You know, because I can't say those type of things. But just think of it how it is. You know what I'm saying? Just think. You know what I'm saying? Just think. He kind of, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? And so then. After that, we had to leave. You know what I'm saying? We had to leave. Uh, where we go? We went back to Rico's room because Mark, Mark Dog was playing. Uh, I would know. There's a slimier move that was made this weekend. I will tell y'all. Listen, listen. I'm just telling y'all this right now. I'm just telling y'all right now. Bu just buckle up. When I say buckle up, I'm just telling y'all. It, 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 it don't stop. That's what I'm saying. So... Then we go back to Rico room, me and Clef. Because Clef, me and Clef, we stay, we staying together and shit. And uh, I, I, and we staying together. And I, I will tell you, this little hotel room, I let Rico, Rico handle pretty much all my traveling and shit. I let Rico pick the room out. I sent them the money. I said, it's for me and Clef. Bro, we had, we had like a two bedroom suite, but it was in a, like a hotel from like 1960. Bro, this hotel room smelled like a locker room. And if y'all ever played football, y'all know what the locker room smelled like. It smelled like pads, smelled like straight ass. 
and a little bit of grass. And when I tell you, this hotel room smelled just like that shit. Like, literally, somebody just stored football pads in there for fucking years. Oh, it was bad, bro. No, except without Fapri's. Oh, it was bad. Yes, it was the Super 8, bro. It was rough. But, I'll be honest with y'all. After you stay in there for five minutes, you kind of get used to it. You'd be cool. But that first little, when that jump, that's how it hits you in the face. You open the door. But when you in there, chat, when you in there for, okay, good timeout on Niner. When you in there for five, when you in there for five, ten minutes, you know what I'm saying? You kind of, you kind of get used to it, right? You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, we here. You don't want to bring nobody else into that, but you kind of get used to it. So, that's where we're staying. So, pretty much me and Clef was there the whole time, you know what I'm saying? He, was, he had a ride out. So, uh, I've never been to Anaheim. I've never been anywhere. When I'm in L.A., I pretty much defer to whatever Kerry say is popping. I'm riding. So, um, what do we do? We go to Rico's room because Mark Dog was playing some little young boy in 2K for money. So, we were watching it first. And, you know, Rico has three bottles already. So, I'm I'm pouring up. Now, I think I'm pouring up. I'm pouring up. I, I do Monster and what well, and Jack. Jack and Monster. That was That's my mix. Boom. Killing them, Jones. I think Clef might have had one. You know, I had like two. You know, so then I don't want to watch 2K all night. I'm, I wasn't gambling on it. I really didn't care. Uh, went back to the room, washed my ass. Cause I feel like I always need a shower. Like, especially being in the game. I, I was on an airplane. I shower when I wake up, get on the airplane, go all the way to LA, watch the gaming venue. I need to wash my ass before I go out. It wasn't hot. It was actually like wherever the hell y'all steps. It was probably like 60 max, and it was cloudy, so it was cool, and I like that. I don't like when it's that hot. Um, so uh, we go back to the room. Shall I get ready to go out? I don't know where to go. You know, I'm just waiting on the word from everybody what everybody's doing. And I'm trying to link up with everybody, so I I, I just Google some shit. Uh, we wanted to watch the fight, so me and Clef go out, get to the bar. The fight already over because Wilder got his ass kicked fast. Um, so when I go to the bar, I don't care what bar I'm at. I order a double henny and a beer. That's what I order. And I say, Clef, do you want to, and I order one for Clef. That's my man. I'm going to get one for him. I don't care. Now, for some reason, I don't know why it was his turn to order rounds, but I just, this is me. It's on me. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Clef, this is when Clef stopped taking his, I had to take Clef shots at this point. Um, so pretty much every time we ordered the bar, it was two for me and a beer for him and a beer for me. So I had four, sh- uh, two doubles and a beer every little bar we went to because he stopped taking the Hennessy shots. Um, uh, what else I want to say? So we went to that bar. Then that was when we get the word from Carrie. We got to go to Fullerton. Okay. Downtown Fullerton. I don't know. I've never been there. So we go to downtown Fullerton. Uh, I, I just Google a random, because me and Clef are there first, right? One, Anaheim is weird. Like, y'all been out, right? Yo, I had to piss, right? And me being from Philadelphia, New York, anywhere was a big city. Like, if I have to piss and I just got an Uber, I'm going to find an alleyway, right? Like, just go piss behind a car or some shit. Ain't no alleyways in Fullerton. Bro, I was walking around blocks for hours. Couldn't find nowhere. Wound up pissing in some bush. And I swear it was at a church. I swear I was in a church parking lot. Not even a parking lot. I was in front of a church, pissing in a bush. That's how Fullerton got. You know what I'm saying? It got rough. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I'm saying. Because there's really no, there was no alleyways in Fullerton. But this Fullerton place was popping. I will be honest. I was bad, and I'm sorry. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's my bad. But, you know. At that point, I was super on. So we, me, so then I Googled some bar, went to some bar, me and Clef, right? I don't know what it was, but I get to the bar, boom, give me double, you know, double henny, double whatever the hell. Double henny, give me double hennies and, and uh, Corona. I, um, especially when you're, because one thing about LA, it's just Mexican. Like, I swear to God, 80% of the people got some type of Latina in them. Like, without a doubt. Like, you go there, without a doubt, it, it's got a... Uh, Everybody has 90% Latina in them somewhere. Even even the black people and the white people, they just got some type of Latina in them. That's all. So that's why I, I try to I try to go Corona to try to be hip a little bit when I'm in LA. Let me get the let me get the Rona. You know what I'm saying? But uh cool. So then me and we at that bar. Then me then we find Carrie, go to some other bar. Now this is where 
I'm cool right now at this point. I'm gone, but I'm cool, chat. Do you understand? Do you understand the level that I'm at, so, so, sobriety wise, where I'm at? I'm gone, but I'm cool. Do you, I, are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? I'm cool at this point. Yeah, I was. Yeah, like I'm, I just want to make sure I, we was cool. Like, we was cool, and then we met Carrie. And this is what happened, because what have we been drinking all night? We've been drinking, I've been drinking beer, and, and Jack, and Hennessy, and, and James, all dark stuff. You know, no sugar, really. No sugar, just straight sugar. And what do Carrie, what the, where, we, I don't even know where we found Carrie. Because this is the time of the night, chat. This is the time of the night where I kind of, I don't. I want to say I kind of, I start forgetting shit. I start forgetting shit. Now I start forgetting shit. Now I'll be real. I start forgetting shit. Really? Now, so we get so we meet up with Carrie and he has this blue he's getting this blue drink, right? Now I hope Joke Joke and, and, and Evil Low or one of them is in here. Cause Carrie got this big ass like blue Laguna, blue Long Island type of shit. Like, bro. And he look and he looked back at me and Clef and he said, Do y'all want one? And I would, I, for me, and for me, I, I'm not going to say no, right? The Blue Laguna, I'm not going to say no. So I get the Blue Lagoon. We get two Blue Lagoons. So here goes all, here goes all my dark liquor I had for the last eight hours, right? Now I'm going to drink a Blue Laguna. You know what a Blue Laguna has? Some type of light and blue and, and sweet sugar and just like so that's when it got dark. Then we went to the black club. That's what Kerry said. He said, this is the black spot. Let's go down there. I don't remember too much of that spot. I really don't. That is when I said, Kerry, we got to go somewhere that's more popping. Right? So we get to the popping spot. So when we get to this popping spot, it's called like JB's or some shit. Like JB's. I forget what it was. Yeah, JB, some shit. And it was, I'll be honest, there was like two or three spots that were super lit. They were popping. I was like, oh shit. This is pretty popping. And uh, the line was crazy. So I was like, man, let's go get a bottle. Let's go get some bottles. And uh, so I asked the guy and I gave them my card and they got us a section. Now I will tell you, I'm a loyal motherfucker. You know why? Because... K Mac and them, I, I was communicating with K Mac and uh and Civil. Cause Civil was kind of like, he was like, I think Civil was my main like plug that I was coordinating with. Cause I felt like he was the one that could handle the liquor the most. And he wouldn't like, he wouldn't like, you know, get too drunk that he couldn't communicate with me. So uh I and they said they on their way. So it's like eight of us, right? And he said, the section, y'all could get 15 people in the section. Because we got three bottles. Well, I got three bottles. So, <laughs> we get in there, and it's some chicks that want to walk in with us. Because the line is crazy. The line is is 100 yards long to get into this bar. And these th these three or four chicks, they want to they wanna come with me. You know what I'm saying? Right? So, these three, I say, no. I got mad and homies coming. I gotta make sure my mad. I gotta make sure my man homies can get in for free. I kicked four chicks out of my line. They wanted to walk in with me. I said no. Y'all gotta go. Kick them out of the line to make sure all my man homies can get in. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Cause I wasn't worried about them little Mexican chicks. I wasn't worried about them. One million percent. Cause I told I told my guys. How, listen. I told my guys, I got y'all. Just when you get to the door, let me know you here, and I will come get you. And so y'all ain't gotta wait on the line. That's all. That's all I'm saying. So, and never in my life have I kicked three or four chicks out of a line. Like, no, y'all gotta go wait in the line right there. I don't know them. Boy says <laughs> the guy looked at me and says, "They with you?" I said, "Nope, I don't know them at all." No, it was definitely the move. I don't honestly I really don't remember Jehovah. I I, I want to say no. <laughs> I want to say no they weren't bad. They might have been cold. I will be honest. if they were cold. I don't know, but at the end of the day I kicked them I definitely kicked them out the line. Bro, Clef was gone by this time, Chad. He was gone. Like he don't remember. I was gone too. I remember ordering bottles. I forget everybody who was there, bro. I know it was me, Clef. Cole, 
um, Cole and, and Bam, um, uh, Jay Bird, obviously, and then Throne and or no Civil and K Mac and but K Mac had a had, K Mac had a girl. I don't know where K Mac got this chick, but he had this little like e girl with him. I don't know where she came from. And when I mean with them, I mean like these motherfuckers were like Siamese twins for like 12 hours, bro. Siamese twins. This bitch couldn't go to the bathroom without K-Mac up her skirt. I swear to God. Like I, 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 for 12 hours. He had a little girl. She was not bad. I will tell you. She was a W. You know what I'm saying? She was a W. But I did tell her. I was told that I told the chick. That she couldn't suck dick because she played Fortnite. I was told those words came out of my mouth to the e-girl chick. I said, no, but why is Niner in here, bro? Thank you. Y'all took too long. Good shit, D-Croft. I was told I looked at her and said, nobody wants an e-girl because they can't suck dick. That's what I, I was. I was told that's what I said. And I don't remember that's what I said, but that's what I was told. But she wasn't bad. A little blind, John. She was not bad. I, I was like, how did this happen? And she picked K-Mac. So out of that squad, K-Mac, K-Mac and Shakobi are over everybody, honestly. Yeah, she but listen, I would I would have bombed twice, put it that way. I don't know how they were Siamese twins, but listen. If you like yeah. Yeah, but she was cool. So he was with her. As Civil was there, I'm assuming he was there. I don't remember. But Man Elite was there, I think. And I, bro, I, I, there was a lot of people there. I only really had. I think I only got like one picture that night. Let me bring that drone up because I, I was bro. I when I tell you Jupiter, Jupiter, bro. Bro, when I tell you Jupiter, so who got Civil was in it? Civil had a fake ID, bro. Yo, Drenny needs a fake ID. So Civil got in there. I'm, I'm gonna try to find these pictures and bring them Jones up for you. Yeah, we was. I'm telling you, we was in there, John. Crush, a crush was everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Crush was definitely crush. Bro, crush. Crush be with the shits. Put it that way. Crush definitely be with the shits. Crush be with the shits, bro. Let me send y'all this picture real quick, though. Oh, that's the next story. That's the next day. Bro, Crush top 10. Bless somebody else. Crush is top 10. Oh, that's the joint. Oh, the joint. J Bird drove home is in the picture. Okay. Okay. The joint J Bird drove home is in the picture. Okay. We got more story. Oh, that's I'm already on that. The J Bird chauffeur story. You know what I'm saying? Jenny definitely probably would say some shit like that. Yo, as a fake, can I still get in? Oh uh, no, no, I, I, I gotta see which one. I gotta go look at the. Uh, let me show these pictures for y'all. Let me see who all in this picture, bro. Civil, I think this is Tibbs. This is K Mac, little chick. Oh, maybe I got another better picture. That's Crush, Clef, T Davis. I forgot, I don't know who's short ass behind this Maz right here. You know what I'm saying? That's our little section was popping. We got the UCLJ. We had the whole corner section, bro. We was really the shits. This is Jay Bird John. You know what I'm saying? They're okay, Mac. I'm telling you. See? That's about all the pictures I got from the whole night, bro. Somebody might have better pictures. I really don't. I really, I haven't taken no other pictures than that. That's all I had. That ass, I was gone. Videos, we got videos.
Bro, you ain't send no, I don't have any DMs of no videos. No, Jay Bird did not get a W. Let's relax. I did not get the story, bro. There was no story, bro. Yeah, Clef, Clef is 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. So we there in, in, in a section. I really don't know if it's them. I had spilled some shit, I think. One of the bottles, at one point the bottles, there was still a lot of liquor in the bottles. I'll be honest. We didn't smash the bottles like I thought we would. I had three, and we didn't smash them joints. Like, listen, we ain't smashed them joints like I thought we would, honestly. So at one point I was walking through the club with the Henny and the Ciroc, and I, I think I was just handing out shots to random people. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it was at that point. Because it was like 1.30, like, and it, it, was, it was about to close, and I couldn't just have a... Uh, I couldn't just have a lot of liquor left over, bro. So, but why am I getting cold? And what do cold? Why? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really buy the bottles crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what other story to tell. I'm not even. I didn't even really tell a story. I don't even know what I missed. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why he's not in the chat. Or maybe he's probably not sub. Now I took it off sub only. So call in the chat, you know what I'm saying? He could talk now. Cheap ass motherfuckers. See motherfuckers ain't sub. Wanna tell they know the whole story and shit. Should I be talking about, bro? Oh, I got a video now. What is this video? 44 seconds. Bro, we can't show this. Oh, the bird. Okay. Okay. Bruh, Throne took a lot of L's. I'm a, yo, listen. Throne definitely didn't make it to this, uh, this event. See, I don't know how to make this no bigger, though. So y'all can still see it. Can y'all see that? What do that look like when I do this? W or L, chat? Let me see if I just put this like right in the middle. Like right here. Can y'all see that? Fat L, what about now, chat? That's all right now, chat? I feel like that's good. I feel like we good. I feel like we good. Decent. I could get a better. Right, listen, chat, watch me work, bro. I'm the pro streamer. I got y'all. I got y'all. You know I'm saying, I got, listen. Trust me, chat. I'm not saying I'm the best, but I'm the greatest. You hear me? Now let's watch this together because I haven't watched this video. This is Civil, who's 21, by the way, Twitch. Okay, that's J Tibbs. This is when the, the club was closing. Crush he ain't want no more, bro. He fell to the flow. He ain't want no more. <laughs> he fell to the flow. He ain't want. No. Okay, J Bird with the tucked in pocket tee. Okay. Okay, went back for seconds. He ain't like his face ain't like it though. K Mac ain't want no pass. K Mac Lil Joan. You seen her? She looked alright, chat. Where's she at? Okay, I'm telling you, she was alright, chat. She was alright. He was cuffing though. Okay. We had to make sure we killed all this shit. You know what I'm saying that was the that was the video I got sent. That's it. Okay. All right. I mean that was us at the little joint on the let out, so we ain't had that much left, bro. Bro, I, she was kind of cuffed. Where I'll be honest, yeah, she, I I probably would have cuffed. You know what I'm saying I probably would have cuffed. I don't know how tall Maze is, bro. I really don't. I don't know why y'all care about that shit that much. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. She was. She was probably cuff worthy though. I'll be honest. So, anyway. Now apparently, they went to some strip club. I didn't go to the strip club. I went home. I fell to the floor. I ain't want no more. And that's when I picked up, or that's when Daz picked me up in the truck. 
Cause hold on, Clef left. So apparently Clef left me, bro. Like Clef left with somebody else in the. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, the tucked in pocket tee was crazy, bro. For real. No, I ain't get on no hug. I was chilling. I was honestly chilling. I was just like, I don't remember what happened. Yeah, Clef, they went with like Jay Bird and the chicks or something, bro. See, like, how do Clef leave me? Like, that's what's kind of crazy when I'm. Uh, the more I think about this night, the more I'm in. Yeah, you feel me? How do I get left, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, how do I get left? Like, bro, yo, somebody time out Crazy Sticks for asking about Vicar Lamar right now. Time him out for he got he got to talk about it for 10 minutes. Time him out. Time him out. Time him out. There, thank you. I appreciate it. I wasn't tapping. I was cool. I, I just don't remember what happened. I, I really just don't. Then Daz picked me up. That's when I saw Daz and Civil, and they told me I just wanted to fight. Cause I can't lie, I was kind of in a rumbling mood that night. I was. I don't know why. I was kind of in a rumbling mood. You know, I kind of was. I was in zombie mode. That's that's the best mode to be in. That's when you start moving crazy. So then I seen. I seen Throne was passed out. Like Throne never made it to this whole adventure. Bro, no, no, Clef was riding. But we're gonna talk about Clef a little bit later. So we would so Throne never made it nowhere. He was just passed out the whole time. Yeah, see T Davis see like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he really never made it out. Like he never ever made it out. So that's the biggest L of the weekend, honestly. Other than Oreo, who didn't even try to come out. Oreo No, like I I no, like I I told Clef I told Clef at like 8 p.m. or we might have to rumble tonight. I'm feeling that type of way. I might grab the wrong ass tonight. I told him that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. The dark like tons of energy. I like, then I seen Throne was just rock like Throne was in there sleeping like a baby in a truck, bro. Like that's nuts to me. So uh, listen, Niner can try to talk. That's why I got mods, baby. But, uh, so then, all right, so Clef, uh, Jay Bird was trying to talk to this chick, the little skinny ass, mean ass chick with the, the little, like, bullshit Mexican joint. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, Jay Bird wound up buying her Uber and riding her a home with her in the Uber. Okay, so he he was going all in. He was going all in, bro. He was going all in, man. All in. He's going all in. Now this is a little nuts. Cause you now as a man that's been as a man. Listen, you as a man, when you go to a chick's house, you 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 listen, you up for anything. That's all I'm saying. You just, you up for any, you never know what's gonna be in, on the end of that Uber ride. You never know. It could be another dude. She could live with twelve people. You could be in the hood. You really have no idea. Seriously, you have no idea what's gonna happen on the other end of Uber. So apparently, Jaybird met her family at three o'clock in the morning. He had a conversation with her pops, talking about life and why he was there and why he tucked his pocket T-shirt in. And he met her pops. Her pop's name was Juan, and he had a mustache. You know what I'm saying? So the girl went to sleep. So this is what happened. The girl walked by the front door and went and went in her room, and Jay Bird had to talk to Juan at the front step for 15, 20 minutes. Then, after Juan said, Buenos no chase, Jay Bird had to call another Uber to go back home. So essentially, Senorita Mamacita Rode my man, my man Jay Bird for an Uber all the way. And this and this wasn't no regular ass Uber. Jay Bird said the Uber was an hour 15. I said an hour 15. By the time Jay Bird got home, they was at, we was at Denny's for breakfast. Bro, Jay Bird spent 180 on Ubers. <laughs> However, however, it could have worked out. That's all I'm saying. It didn't work out, 
But it could have worked out. Now, by the end of the night, he untucked that pocket tee, bro. By the end of the night, by the end of the night, he might have had some shit in the pocket, bro. And he had that shit untucked. Bro, it could have worked out, though. Now, I'll tell you. If it wasn't for my man dad. Actually, I, I thank Jay Bird. I thank Jay Bird. Because if he wasn't there, that probably would have been me. I will be honest. It probably would have been me. So, I'm happy that Jay Bird was there. And he went home and talked to Juan. <laughs> Yo. This is what I want to know. Like. What did they talk about? Is my question on the ride home. Like, what did they talk? Like, you got an hour and a half Uber ride, bro. If you have an hour and a half Uber ride, like, you got to talk about something, right? Exactly. He do the, like, listen. You got you to gotta really go all out, bro. That's all I'm saying. Y'all got to go all out. Like, like, Shakobi went all out. Oh, it wasn't a lot of talking going on in the Uber. So, okay. Did you just, did you just take strap out in the Uber? The Jay Bird, did, did you take, that's the move. Like, mid-Uber, like, first five minutes of the hour and a half ride, you just got to take Strap out in the Uber and just hold it, like, you got to let her know the vibes. You just got to, like, <laughs> let that thing sit there. You know what I'm saying? And then, then it's up to her. Now, listen, then it's up to her to determine how the rest of the Uber ride going to go. Because <laughs> I could pull this bitch over right now. You could, you could go to your phone, change location. You know what I'm saying? You just got to take that shit out, bro. <laughs> what up, though? Yo, what's sick is he rode with her. The bird tried to fly, but he was on penguin mode. <laughs> Couldn't go nowhere. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yeah, that's nuts, bro. That is nuts. That's pretty nuts, man. Like, yo, like, I, I mean, listen, you got to try. That's how I feel, you got to try. You get, as you get in that Uber, listen, if you get in the Uber, you got to ask yourself, what's the worst case scenario? Yes, first of all, that's what you could have did. Bro, just try to take her where you staying at. And if she don't want, listen, if she don't want to go where you staying at, that means she's not giving up any ass, period. Yeah, you got to learn from this. Because y'all got to think about Y'all can't front. We done all took L's. I got a lot of L's, baby. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of L's. So what? That's the best thing, Jay Bird. Yo, y'all have to use Shakobi and Oreo. Although Shakobi is over you right now, Jay Bird. But you got to use Oreo. If I was Oreo, if Oreo was in my room, I would introduce all my girls to Oreo. Because when they look at Oreo, they're going to turn back and look at you. And all of a sudden, you're fucking Ryan Reynolds after they looked at Oreo. Bro, having ugly friends is a fucking W. One million percent. Y'all not using that shit right. What? What? Like, y'all not using that shit right, man. No, there's no limits. There's no limits. There's no limits, bro. I'm telling y'all. Y'all not. Every squad, the best friend to have is an annoying, not annoying. Like, you got to have the ugly friend that's kind of funny and gives no fucks about getting at bitches. And you just got to ride with him. Bro, when I was coming up, we had the ugliest dude, right? He was like, but one, he was a drug dealer, so he had hella money to throw his strippers. So we would all, and he would always get it, bitches. But he was ugly. So he would always get it, bitches, right? And when you stood next to him, I swear to God, you looked like a movie star. And he was funny enough to just entertain enough. And if you had a little bit of game, you were in. You were in because you got to understand when one guy of a group starts talking to like a girl of another group, the girls in that group, they start plotting on which one they going to talk to and vice versa. And you got to understand when the ugly guy starts talking to one chick, her friends are like, thank God I'm not talking to him. There you lay up. So they feel like, damn, I just got I just got to steal. 
I'm telling you guys, you have to have an ugly friend. And I'll tell you this right now. If you don't have an ugly friend, the ugly friend might be you. And that's okay. It's okay. Because you can maneuver. Yo, there's a lot of funny, ugly dudes that then talk their way into pussy. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you, bro. Swear to God. You know what I'm saying? I, it might be me, and I'm cool with that. I will buy the drinks, and I'll tell some jokes. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm just telling you guys how to live. So that's why. So that's why when you look at your squad, and my squad, your squad never holds you back. Squad never holds you. The only way your squad can hold you back is if Oreo stays in the house and Labs Madden. Oreo, instead of coming out, all these all these stories that every Madden player that was there came out and hang out with us, Oreo went to fucking Disney World and rode the teacups for $200. Swear to God. So as much as y'all laugh at Jay Bird, because Jay Bird spent $200 to Uber for fucking Selena and talked to Juan, Oreo was riding the fucking teacups while this was happening. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, <laughs> I'd rather be the person... That was ca catching crazy L's in the ball in the teacups. That's all I'm saying. But in chat, which one would you rather be? That's all I'm saying. Would you rather be the one riding the Uber for two hours, trying to at least touch some coochie, or would you rather be the ball in the teacups? That's all I'm saying. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as the group J Bird with K Mac and Shakobi. Shakobi got a bunch of W's. When I see, yo, yo. Sunday night, Shakobi was a different beast. That dude dancing with the polo, oh, he had to get some ass. Oh, man, he had to get something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, J-Bird went out. He went out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Pocket T, J-Bird, that's a different J-Bird. I need that creep on the leaderboards. Pocket T, J-Bird's J Pocket T. I need that on the leaderboards, bro. J Bird's pocket tea. So anyway, I wound up. I, I, like I said, I wound up. Dad's just took me back to the joint. I went to sleep. But you know how I wasn't really lit, chat. I went to sleep. Like I, I took my clothes off. I took my socks off. I went under the covers. I was cool. Cause you know when you really lit, you just just lay down and pass out on the first thing that's like whether it's the couch, the ground, a futon. You just lay down and pass out the first thing for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the bird tried to fly. We're not mad at him. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. But th like I said, Throne did not make it. And yes, yes. And this is when Clef lost his wallet. This is when Clef lost his wallet. So after that, Clef had no Clef had no wallet, which is a super L. It's a super L. You got to try to finesse to get in everywhere. I don't know how it happened, but we wound up getting in everywhere. That's why you just need, like, Carrie and some other people that know a little bit of people in L.A. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Civil Civil was riding on. And I'll tell you, I did see Civil talking to some chicks, bro. That's, that's, I mean, he was shooting. Civil, Civil was out there singing them country lyrics and shit. Clef was definitely hanging. Lost his, Clef lost his ID and his wallet. So he had no more money. So, this is another thing. So, now Clef has no more money. So, all them rounds we bought him the day before, we're not getting them bitches back. Part of me really thinks he didn't lose his wallet, bro. And he just hid that shit and said he lost it, so he had to pay for shit the rest of I'm, I'm, listen. It's chestnut checkers, bro. I'm, bro. It's chestnut checkers, bro. He probably looking at his wallet like right now. <laughs> so... We get, uh, so the next day, that's when Clef got play. Um, blah, blah, blah. Shit was fun. I had the biggest, hang I, I, not a hangover, I just had a headache. You know what I'm saying? So what I was going to say. So I had a headache, taking pills, watching the man games, just start drinking again. Like, that's my keeper. When I woke up on Sunday, Clef, we, Clef was lit, and then, uh, I just started drinking White Claws. White Claws, at least what I learned, White Claws are the best. I'm hungover. I'm trying to get back. Yo, White Claws will bring you out of the depths of hell. You can be in the depths of hell hungover. One White Claw, you right back. You are right back. Because it's got the seltzer aspect. 
but then it has the alcohol. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Yeah. But the White Claw brought him back. Cliff ain't had no, so he's hung over. That's when he went there, and then he wound up getting popped by Eye Tight. We lost the Eye Tight again. We've all lost the Eye Tight this year. Eye Tight has five belts, five tournament victories. Um, but then we went back to Rico's room, started drinking there. Then, then Carrie, I asked Carrie what's the move. Uh, Carrie told me about this bar down in, in down by the beach. So we drove down by the beach. Clef couldn't get in the shit at first. So we went and ate, waited for Carrie. Carrie got Clef in. But this was like a real Mexican spot. And I, that's not really, not Mexican, but you know, just like the Latin type of vibe. Like, I was like, oh, I said, but then at the time, this is when they got into this dream hack after party. Now I'm like, that should look kind of cool. It was open bar, but we need this wristband. Clef got a wristband. They kicked Drenny out. So Drenny hit, Drenny put his wristband somewhere so I could use it. He hit it and I was, Drenny gave me his and shit looked cool. And this is where I kind of like, this is where I kind of, I'm going to be honest. I'm not listening. I look, When it comes to like where the spot is, like, all them dudes that were there, like the K Max Civil and Throne and, and, and Sokobi and everybody that was there before I got there, I'm not listening to them no more. Cause that shit was ass. Like, I mean, I, I don't want to party with gamers. I just, I really don't, bro. I really don't. Like, that's, it's not my vibe. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, the, it was open bar. So at the end of the day, that's cool. But I didn't get, I, and you know how I knew it was ass, right? And I should have been smarter than this, but we really didn't have a, that big of a plan, right? I should. They would. They between Crush and Civil, and everybody was hitting me up like, "When you getting here?" Like they, like, bro, if it was popping, they wouldn't be worried about when the hell I was getting there. You know what I'm saying? They nobody told me it was lit. Somebody was like, "It's cool." I, I, somebody just told me it's cool. So it was open bar. I'm saying, but if, if everybody hitting you up like when you get in here, that's when you know, like, bro, I'm not that exciting. It's hoes there. Like, if it was hoes there, you wouldn't be worried about me. So that's when I should have known. But we really had nowhere else to go. Plus, Kerry Homie was there and he picked us up, or he we, we started we was driving with him, dropped us off at the joint. I got the bracelet, finesse cleft way in there, got a couple drinks, and it's cool. I see Shakobi, he lit. Everybody kind of lit. Now I'm, I'm I'm not lit this night. I'm chilling. This is when thrown. I think Throne finessed me a little bit, bro. I'm going to be honest with y'all, chat. I think he finessed me. I think I got finessed again. And I, all these experiences are my learning experience, bro. Yeah, see, y'all... See, k -Mac, that's y'all problem. Y'all problem was y'all went to gamer shit, bro. Don't go to gamer shit. No, never. But I feel like I got finessed again. So we get there. It's an open bar. Now, open bar, I will tell you guys, one of the best things you can do in this open bar is tip. If you don't tip at an open bar, you are the biggest scum of the earth. Biggest scum of the earth. One, you got to tip. Bro, the drinks are free. One, the drinks are free, so it doesn't cost you nothing to put a dollar down on the table, right? So if you put a dollar, and also, an open bar is, is a, it's a, it's like piranhas. That's what it's like, and there's meat there, and they're all lined up at the bar, Right? Now, me, I'm taller and bigger than everybody, so people can see me. But if you're the one constantly tipping, who do you think the bartender is going to go back to first to get you drinks all the time? The person that's tipping. So if you want to be served at an open bar quicker and easier, always tip. I'm like a $3, 2 or $3 per drink. You know what I'm saying? Per drink in an open bar. That way, they always come back to you. And you now, and, and that I feel like that's common knowledge, right? But as I look down this bar, this bar is probably 30 feet bar of all gamers. Nobody was tipping. I mean, fucking nobody was tipping. None of these gamer dudes were tipping. None of these CSGO players, Halo players, nobody was tipping shit. And I'm looking like, bro, this is sickening. Oh, my God. Right? So I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Well, well Drenny, got, Drenny went in there. And he was living his life, bro. He was living his life for five minutes. And then they found him and they said, you're 19, you got to get out, bro. You got to get out. You know what I'm saying? So, no, the bar, the, the open bar was closed at 12, right? But I didn't notice. So, I'm in line to get a drink, right? 
I'm, I'm up at the bar. So Throne come up to me. He said, Doug, what you about to get? I said, I'm about to get vodka Red Bull. You know, I'm a little tired. I want to wake up, right? So Throne says, all right, get me when I go to the bathroom. So Throne disappear, right? It's like 12.02. I said, let me get uh, two uh, Tito's and, and uh, Red Bull. The chick says, oh, you got to pay for them now. It's no open bar. Now, I'm not the one that's going to say I'm not, I don't want them no more. So I buy this. So if essentially I buy throwing a drink, right? So part, now that I think about it, before I did the podcast, I didn't. I, I, I just assumed he didn't know that the open bar was closed at 12. But now I'm starting to think he knew that the open bar was cut off at 12 and he knew it was 12.02. And that was the perfect time to say W.O. grab me one and dip off to the bathroom. You know, I started to think that, you know, and, 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 and this is what I tell you, you know, Thrones, Mr. 100, 100K subs, he, he going to get me back, right? He going to get me back, right? Right? I mean, Clef didn't get me back. He's not 100K sub, you know, Thrones. He's a nice outstanding white guy. You know, he's 100K. He makes all this money. You know, I trust him, right? So I get him to drop sales. Cool. I, I, I Listen, you no know, open bar is cool. It's my guy, right? So I drink my drink. I kill my drink. You know, it's a good drink. So about 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 fifteen minutes later. So about fifteen minutes later. Who this talk about? Y'all gotta go. Well, we getting out of here. I'll holler at y'all later. We getting out of here. This motherfucker throne. Bounced. So now I start thinking about he probably knew the open bar was up. Got me to get him a drink, then dipped in fifteen minutes. Now, I I don't want to say I got finessed. I don't want to say that. But I kind of feel like I got finessed a little bit. Yeah. But I will be honest. He did he did come to me with, with like a 20 in his hand. Like, I'll, let me give you money for a drink so you can get a drink. Right? But I'm not going to take somebody's money just to buy a drink later. Like, bro, if you're not going to get around... Then don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, I don't want to go get a drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, that. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, that's not the vibes, chat. When we say the vibes, that's not the vibes. The vibes is not, huh, here go money for a drink later. What I look like? That's what you do to like a little hoe or some shit. You know what I'm saying? The vibes is you just show up with two drinks. Here you go, right? That's the vibes. You don't got to ask me. You know what I'm saying? That's all. But you know, you start to learn. You start to learn everybody's tendencies, though. You start to learn their tendencies. Yeah, exactly. But I was like, no, I'm good. You ain't got to worry about it. I really was like, no, I'm good. You ain't got to worry about it. That, that was wild to me. Yeah. But no, he did try to pass me some money and everything. And then uh, then, then I went home. I was like, I'm chilling. I ain't want to do shit. But Crush... This was like probably one o'clock, and Crush was like, "Yo, where we at? Where we at next?" That was his, yo. He texted me like a hundred times, "Where we at?" No, don't go in. I was like, I was like, "Yo, I'm chilling. I got a flight at like five a.m. I'm chilling." But was Crush was like, "No, we gotta ride out. Not the last night." I'm like, "No, nah, bro, I'm cool." He's like, "I'll pay for everything. I'm trying to ride out." Yeah, Jehovah, you feel me? I'm not gonna accept it. He ain't slick. He ain't slick. Dream went home and he left me his bracelet. No, I ain't gonna take. I ain't gonna take no man's money. That's shit different, bro. So essentially, I kind of got finessed by Clef. Might have got finessed by Throne. Nah, I couldn't. Yo, I can't do. I'm not going to no more gamer shit, bro. Unless I get a vouch from somebody that's actually like I fuck with in the community. Not not even in the man community. I'm starting. I'm telling y'all. I'm starting to. I'm starting to get hit with other gamers, though, bro. I'm, I'm me myself. I'm starting, I'm trying to branch out. Now, it's not branching out yet. I'm tw I still got twigs out there. I don't got branches out there. But I promise you, I'm going to start finding the tough-ass parties at these eSports shits. I promise you guys. All right? Bro, crush, bro. I can't lie. Crush text me like 10 times in three minutes. Like, yo, no. Yo, you can't. Yo, we got a ride out. Nah. But then, I got a question for you, Chad. So, so then Sunday after the tournament shit, Clef was like, bro, bro, this boy Clef come to me, bro. Clef be like, you know how it was bad? I was like, wow, what's up? He was like, yo, I woke up in the middle of the night. And I just started pissing on the ground next to the bed. I said, what? 
He said, yeah, bro, sometimes that shit happened to me. I'll just be drinking. I'll just start pissing everywhere. I said, bro, that shit ain't never happened to me ever in my life. And he was like, he was like, yo, he going to tell me, bro, that never happened to you? I was like, no, I mean, I'll be pissing on like, I'll be pissing in the alleyway and on like in the middle of the street. And, but he was like, no, I hopped out of bed. I must have thought I was in the bathroom. I just started pissing on the ground. <laughs> Bro, I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I be getting pissy drunk. <laughs> he said, I ain't have time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was like, that has never happened to me. <laughs> no, nah, bro. No, nah, cuz. <laughs> he said, I ain't have time <laughs> to go to the bathroom. Then I said, then I said, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask the chat if y'all ever got pissy drunk. And he, he had a name for it. He's like, yeah, I got pissy drunk. That's all. I'll be pissing, bro. And I, I said, no, I, I never thought that was a thing. Honestly, I never really thought that was a thing. You know what I'm saying? Cause it never happened to me. Like sometimes you got pissed, but like, you know what I'm saying? You got like, I tell you the drunker you get, the, the more, I will tell you this. The drunker you get, the more more you you don't care about where you're pissing. Like you don't like I'm ne like I've always never been in the house. I've never pissed in the house. Like I'll tell you that that's never happened. Like in like inside, like just <laughs> just up against the wall. That piss rush elite, bruh. That never happened to me. So I just wanted to ask y'all, did that ever happen to you guys? I can't even think about the why. I mean, I would, like, I'm talking, like, maybe right in the street. I don't piss, like, right in the street on the sidewalks and shit. Like, bro, I, like. Thank you. Thank you, X Factor. Because Niner was about to agree. Niner was really about. Yeah, I was like, yo, what? He was like, yo, yeah. And I, and I started thinking, bro. You know what I started thinking? That's probably why the room smelled like a locker room. Because everybody pissing on the floor. I'm missing out. And I started thinking, I'm missing out. I need to drink more. Don't blame that pissy drunk is a real thing. There's people with pissing people. How? House plants? Bro. Damn, do last you pissed on the couch? A pissy finesse, bro. I, I I don't know, bro. That that was nuts. So he he didn't have no wallet. The ground of his bedroom was pissy, bro. Clef, and he lost in the finals. Clef, bro. But in the day, he made seventy five hunts. Yo, I definitely missed the whole level. I've never been pissy drunk, bro. I have never been pissy pissy drunk, bro. Bro, people, yo, people pissing in their hampers, floor pissing drunk. I've never been there. I missed out. No, no, bro, ain't no side. Bro, that's, that's, I mean, that's a new level, man. I feel like y'all really was like, damn, I'm missing out. I ain't never been there. That ain't never been my, that has never been my twist. Yeah, 7,500 is a lot of carpet cleanings, bro. It's a lot of carpet cleanings. I mean, that's pretty nuts, honestly. I mean, you know. Wow, I had to piss my pants. How yeah? Have you ever have you ever got caught cheating? Yo, I can't lie. I remember when I was a young boy. No lie, though. When I was like in third grade, right? This is young boy, like young. Now, mind you, like, 
like I said, you guys know, like I always did like landscaping and like tree work. So I was always outside and boy scout, like always outside type of thing. Right. So like, I've always been around like dudes just pissing on like trees or, you know what I'm saying? Like always been comfortable pissing outside. That makes any sense. I don't know if y'all understand what I'm saying. Like I've always been like, it's never been a big deal for me from my youngest age. Right. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's never been like a big deal, like pissing on trees and stuff like that. So once I like third grade, I was at like the bus stop. I remember like, and out here, like I'm, I live in like row homes. Right. But the next block over was like twins. So like twins is, um, you know, two houses together, then a little space and two houses together, a space. And so I'm in third, like third elementary school, like a kid. So you would have to walk across, walk through these twins to get to the, like the next two blocks was where the school bus was. And it was early in the morning, bro. And I remember pissing. I remember I, I had to piss, right? So I tried to finesse my way behind this lady's house, right? And like pissing like her little rose bushes or whatever. You know, you know, somebody's like Saturday house, like on the bushes or something in the cut. But apparently when I was in third grade, my little, my, my little finesse and my little, <laughs> My sneakiness was not at a high level. And I remember the, the lady caught me, bro. I was salty. She had to go, she went and told my parents and everything, bro. So, but because I like pissed on like her, like the side of her house. It wasn't like in like a tree. It was like the side of her house. And I remember that shit. The kid mac and cheese. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Rage, it was like that. It was like, I was like, bro, Really? Yeah, but piss, I can't lie. I've never pissed on the floor ever in my life. Like, ever. Inside a house. You know what I'm saying? That's all. So, that I just want to make sure all y'all... Because Clef was like... Clef, Clef, Clef really was going to convince me that it was like a real thing. Like, no lie. He was convinced that it was a real condition. Pissy drunk is a real thing. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, man, if y'all not if y'all not planning to make it out to uh, Dallas, make sure y'all do, man. We, I'm trying to get the like the Madden section. My biggest thing is I want to get the Madden section as popping as the rest of the tournament. If y'all understand what I'm saying, man. I'm saying so for me, it's like I want to get it super popping, and we could do that. Like even the people like if we get everybody that actually plays in the tournament to go there and just watch the rest of the tournament and kick it and make it popping, it could be lit. I mean that clef that probably make it worse, really. Bro, if sub if my subs oh yo, yo if a sub show up, oh you in the section. Bro, I kicked chicks out to get my get all the man players in the section. I had a section with no chicks. Only chicks was the ones Jay Bird was cuffing and trying to cuff and the K Mac chick. That's it. I ain't care about chicks. I was with Madden people, bro. Like y'all got I was the one kick with my homies, honestly. That's all. Dude, you done missed it. K-Mac had, K-Mac had a little bad little Fortnite chick. But apparently I told her that, you know what I'm saying, that she couldn't suck dick because she play uh, Fortnite. That's what that, that was one of my lines. That was one of my late night blacked out lines when I said, E-girls can't suck dick. I said that. I don't really know from experience. I just thought it was funny, so I said it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to be in Dallas. I will, at the end of the day, I will be there. What else matters, bro? And I will tell you, Dallas is the most lit. Dallas is the most lit s- city. Honestly. I'm saying, so if y'all are there, man, I don't remember Jehovah. Jehovah, I was going, I don't remember what the shit I was saying. I don't know. Post, you see me? I'll be working, bro. Reverse psychology. She was out there proving that shit tonight. Oh, yeah, Toronto and Dallas. Dallas is going to be a good time, bro. So I, I don't know what you said. What did you say? I don't I mean, you didn't say anything. You said, yo, 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 my ID's hell. And that's it. That's all you said. Oh, I was supposed to say hello. My fault. Hello. Hey. My fault. 
Bro, I'm telling y'all, everywhere I go is a good time. Y'all have to understand that. We always going to have a good time. Period. Now, I might have to put an RSVP for the section list, bro. We might have to have people sign up and put some money down, honestly. Because most people we could probably... oh, you might, hey, The most people we could probably fit is probably like 15. So I might have to put like a $200 RSVP section. And I might have to put that down. You know what I'm saying? We might have to start that, really. I'm just saying, y'all might have to put that down. Uh, nobody gets an auto birth. Atlanta's ass. I didn't go to Atlanta, so I don't know. I really don't know. But like I said, I make want to make sure. Only thing I can tell y'all, man, if you, like I said, it's a fun time for everybody. I met tons of new people. It's not even really about. It's really not even about the turn up. Like the turn up's funny and it's a good time. But uh, just going to the man event and meeting everybody is fun too, man. So don't think like, I'm not going to go out. I don't want to go to DreamHack or, you know, I'm not good at mad. And it's a bunch of shit y'all could, that's keeping y'all from going to an event mentally. Like, I understand if y'all don't want to like spend the money, y'all don't want to travel. Y'all, that's cool. But mentally, as far as like, you know what I'm saying, there's no reason why you shouldn't be there for real. I'm saying. I know, honestly, I really don't know, Kev. I really don't know if Atlanta's ass. I, I've never really parted in Atlanta, so I don't really know. I think I think any city you can make it what it is. Honestly, you can make it. You can make it shake. That's all. But for real, so that's uh, that's pretty much all I want to tell y'all. Make sure y'all there, honestly. But this was the Need Podcast episode sixty nine. Sixty nine was about Shakobi getting ass, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah, Dallas is going to be crazy. Yeah, Dallas is going to be fun. That's going to be my birthday. I don't know what day it is. My birthday is May 11th. I will be 33 years old. Old as shit. But I'm excited for that, and I will be celebrating in Dallas, man. So I'm not paying for shit. I'll tell you that. Yo, in Dallas, I'm not paying for shit. I'm leaving all wallets at home. I'll walk around with just my ID. No wallet. Like, here, this is me. I'm here. I'm saying I'm not bringing shit, but this was the needle podcast episode 69.